Yankees. Huh? Who? The Yankees. Are you kidding me? Where are you from? Baseball season ended. Where are you from? The Red Sox. The Red Sox aren't playing, so baseball season's over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. Hey, good. I, I, I liked. Uh, I liked the approach our guys had today. I, I think they came out with a real workmanlike attitude uh, for the game. I thought, you know, we, we did some silly things, made some some mistakes. Uh, they didn't make me happy. Obviously, turning the ball over in the red zone. We had a couple silly penalties there. Uh, missed a couple tackles on defense. But uh, uh, but overall, uh, you know, those are things we got to get corrected. We got to get fixed. But overall, I, I like the performance our guys came out with. The mindset, uh, you know, coming off a bye week, early kickoff. Uh, you know, a, a, a team obviously that, that we, we talked about was going to be a physical on both both lines of scrimmage. Uh, and uh, you know, I thought we came out and played hard on defense. Ran to the ball, uh, made plays, you know, obviously holding them to 10 points. And, uh, did a good job. We were able to control the line of scrimmage on offense and, and kind of wear them down with the, you know, the, they looked kindly on us with the temperature of the, today. You know, they're coming. I don't think it was this warm in Provo uh, during the week in practice. So it was a hot one, and we were able to kind of get the tempo going offensively and run the ball offensively, which certainly helped. So uh, we stayed balanced, stayed pretty well balanced, and, um, you know, but. We gotta get ready now because we, we got a lot of things we gotta improve on. Uh, need to uh, thank all the fans for coming today uh, to see us. But we need a we need a, a wilder environment next. We get back into SEC play to help keep make sure we get that that home field advantage. So I know they they'll come back next week and uh, uh, give us that advantage that you need to, to make it really hard on opposing teams. Questions? We'll get a mic to you. Uh, Coach, can you talk a little bit about Eric? It seems like every every year you've really had a, a really good offense. You've had a, a, a really a good tailback, starting tailback that you could rely on. Talk about Eric a little bit. I'll tell you what, you know, Eric is a guy that, that we knew he was going to be uh, that, that type of player coming. He could see it. And it was just him growing into the position, growing into the reads, patient in his runs, understanding how plays are going to hit, understanding pass protections, understanding the routes. And I think a lot of people get lost on that sometimes. That, hey, it, it's not just about hand the ball and go run the ball. And you see how he's matured, you know I mean? Some of his big plays today were picking up pass protections and, and coming out of the backfield, catching catching some balls to keep some drives alive and, and give us those plays. I mean, I, I know, you know, because you look at the 23 for 114, grinding it out between the tackles, you know, and your longest is 19, that's, that's grinding it out. But some of the other plays that he makes that, you know, you don't really pay, you see a lot of our big plays and that's what he's really grown into. BYU went heavy with the screen game and some short passing game stuff early on. Were we all expecting that, and how did y'all attack that? No, I think we we had, we adjusted to it. You know, they hadn't shown that a lot uh, coming into the game, but uh, you know, I know I think I, I, their quarterback's still a little bit banged up, so to kind of help him out early in the game to uh, get the ball out of his hands and, and, and mix it up and keep off keep us off balance. But I thought uh, I thought Todd and the staff and the players did a really nice job adjusting to that defense. Hey Dan, what do you think you learned from your wide receiver group today? I don't know. I'll go watch the film. They, they did. They're good kids. They're not the smartest guys in the world, so they didn't like teach me anything, like philosophically or <laughs> mathematically. No. <laughs> uh, Billy's over with them. I know they got that grease board up there. Who knows what they're doing in there? You know what I mean? So they could be teaching anything in there. But I didn't go over to get a lesson in anything. But uh, no, I, I thought. Uh, I thought they did. You know, they did well. I think. You know, one of the things we're trying to get that depth to be able to roll those guys through. Uh, you know, and, and I think each guy did, did a little something different. It's great to see Jamal make plays down the field. Uh, I thought we did a decent job blocking on the perimeter. You know, Donald made some nice contested catches, you know, with guys draped over him. So, um, you know, those are things you have to do as we move forward to, to, uh, to make those type of plays. Coach, uh, you rushed for 300 yards today. Offensive line Clearly did a pretty good job out there rush blocking. I know you hadn't seen the film yet. What were your impressions of their play? Uh, I, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with those, yeah, especially having to play the two freshman tackles. You know, you got your, your top lineman out uh, with Martinez being out uh, again this week. Uh, you know, you get worried. Mike, Michael Story was, gonna, was out again, was, was out this week for us uh, for the most part. So, you know, that's, that's your, really your, probably the first guy in the game's out, and, you know, one of your starters is out. We're pretty thin, but they stepped up, next man up. They stepped up, and we're able to run the ball. And, uh, you know, this is a tough physical group. Uh, that you play, you know, I mean, you, you play BYU, you know, you're always going to get big physical guys inside, and they were able to block them. So uh, pretty, pretty pleased with 
with that. And they gave us some different looks that we hadn't, hadn't been expecting. They hadn't shown a lot. So uh, they mixed it up on us, but our guys did a good job adjusting. Along those lines, Greg Guiling got his first career start, and obviously he was a lot more calm than he was two weeks ago. Yeah. Your thoughts yes, on this Yeah. Um, well, I think one, you know, obviously the home, you're at home, home field advantage in this league. Like I said, I mean, it can be such a huge factor. You know, you're not just playing, sometimes you're not just playing the 11 guys that are on the field against you. I mean, it feels like you're playing against 90,000 other people at times, or 80,000 or 60,000 or whatever we want. You know, however many we're going to pack in here to make it hard and, and make Kentucky feel that next week. Uh, you know, I mean, it, that, that's tough duty, especially on young players getting their first at live action. So, but, uh, but I think the bye week certainly helped them. We gave... You know, he wasn't one of those guys that got a whole lot of rest during the bye week. He got he got every rep, and uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, both him and Stu, I thought managed the game pretty well today. Do you expect to get March in his back next week? Uh, yeah, we'll see. You know, I, you know, it's I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I, I I knew early we weren't going to get it back for this one. Uh, was the take, so I didn't really pay much attention to it. So we'll see. You know, I think. Uh, um, both he and Corey, you know, could be mid to late week decisions, and it's going to be pretty, you know, they, Wednesday, Thursday is the target date to get him back out and make that decision for, for us. You've uh, had some pretty prolific quarterback running back, backfield duos uh, in your career for the You Is there anything in particular that makes guys pair well together, certainly this year when they're going through the wrong? Well, I, th I think it's, it's good balance between the two. You know, I think having, you know, Fitz gives you a little bit of, uh, if for, for a big guy, he still gives you that, that threat outside that, that makes you nervous because he has, he has some home run hitting ability. Um, but, uh, and then Harris, you know, can be physical between the tackles. And I, so I think that's a pretty good combination of, of guys to have. Hey, Coach, you had that stretch in the third quarter where you had a pick and the touchdown given up and that fumble. Yeah. And then it was as if the defense sort of just flipped the switch and everything just changed. The fact that, you know, the offense, the defense just turned it up in the fourth quarter despite the, you know, the, the atmosphere maybe getting a little sleep. What does it say about the team just going forward? I think that's huge. You know, we, we talk about that a lot, about holding on to the rope, you know what I mean, of, of, uh, of doing that. And you're looking there. We're driving down, trying to put the game away in the third quarter. We, we throw a pick in the red zone. They run it back. We get a penalty. Next play, we get a penalty. Next play, they score. We fumble the kickoff. They get the ball back. I mean, that's that rope just slipping right out of your hands. You know what I mean? You're just getting it pulled right out of your hands at that point. Uh, one of the things we do in our offseason, you know, one of the big things, every, every guy will tell you, yes, has him out the road, say, don't let go of that rope. They might, not, they might add another adjective in there, too, uh, between the and the rope. Uh, that they'll, 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 they'll throw in here that they, they occasionally hear from me uh, to not let it go. But, uh, and all of a sudden, that rope was slipping, slipping, but you just can't let go of the rope. And they clasped. They grasped it, and they pulled it right back uh, in, in all three phases. Pulled it right back. Uh, and that's that, that's that's pretty big for the you know for the team you know that, that's facing that type of adversity right there where you know hey we this rope's slipping we got to put our feet in the ground and go stop it and we got to do it ourselves and uh, and they went and did it. Uh, I'm gonna ask another Harris question again. Uh, it took him six weeks to tie the nose tackle with touchdowns. Uh, were you kind of happy to, to, to get him that? Were you going to Jeffrey's got a couple? Yeah. So Harris we, only has two. Yeah. They're getting the end zone more. Yeah. Well, what are you doing about that? Getting the ball 23 times. He had 23 <laughs> chances to get into the end zone. Were, were you going to keep feeding them down there until he got it, you think? No, I don't even. I'll be honest. I don't think about those things uh, at all. I mean, I will look at them and say I gave it to you 23 times. So 22 times you didn't get in the end zone. That's his fault. <laughs> uh, on, on and he first. caught it three times, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. That's 25 chances he had to get in, and he didn't get in on his own. Is it an effort fault. issue, you think, maybe? That's his own fault, you know? An effort thing? Must be, think? must be. I'm going to look at it. I'll, I'll talk to him about it. Uh, on the other side, Nick got a lot of carries today, particularly early. Was that part of the, the game plan? No, just involved? what they gave us. I mean, he had just what they were playing, you know I mean? They were they were showing us some different looks I hadn't seen, and uh, but he did a good job managing, and, and, you know, some of the zone read stuff, he can't control that. But, um, you know, 15, that's about right for him, I think. You know, if we'd like to keep him right around that 15 carry mark. If, uh, I, don't, I don't really want to go way over it, but I'm great being right around that mark. I think that's that's okay for our offense. Hey, Coach, how does the player keep these together with the wide receiver Well, help, you know, I mean, he, he did some good things catching and run after the catch today. You know what I mean? And that's important for him because, uh, you know, he's a dynamic guy with the ball in his hand. He has some acceleration. And, you know, he can make what looks like a three-yard gain into a nine, ten-yard gain in a hurry. And, 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 and 
might not seem like much, but that can wear on you. That, that creates momentum for the offense. So, uh, uh, you know, that certainly helped. Coach, 4-2 uh, at the halfway mark of the season. Good thoughts? Yeah, we've got a lot, of, a lot of football ahead of us. You know, I mean, uh, uh, you know, here, here's a nice thing. So it's, I mean, we got, we got six games. We have four. We have four at home, two on the road down the stretch. Uh, you know, uh, our guys are, are starting to grow and mature as a team. We got to be. You know, uh, you tell me where a successful season is. We're a much better team at the end of the year than we were at the beginning of the year. Uh, and we played. Had no regrets. Played as hard as we can every snap on the, on the season. That's a successful year. Uh, that's what you, you really want to try to control uh, is your own performance. So. Uh, but we are a lot of football ahead of us. We're four and two, and um, you know, uh, six games to go. So let's, we got to finish strong and continue to improve. Another good day for Logan Plunkett. How big a weapon has he been for you? Well, I think that was huge for me. You know, him and, and I talked to him about consistency. You know, I think that last one might have hurt his net for the day. I was laughing at that, but it was still a great putt. I almost spun back right around the one yard, a little, little you know, pitching wedge down to the one. Uh, and he, uh, but you know, and his kickoffs were really solid today. Um, you know, and, and talk about that because you know he's got talent. Everybody, anybody sees him kick, you can watch him warm up and know he's really talented. But the consistency is the most important thing. And, and he was very, very consistent today, and that certainly helped. You know, I mean, um, you know, when you're, you're, you're averaging 53 a punt, that's going to help flip field position and, and never give them the ball in, on, on, the, uh, on the plus side of the field with the special teams. You know, Nick obviously had a big day, but he did have those two interceptions. What did you say to him after that second interception? Uh, yeah, that was. Terrible decision. Um, you know, it was first and ten. We're in the red zone. They pressured us. The look wasn't there. Just either check it down, scramble, or throw it away. Uh, one of those three options. Don't just throw it up for grabs when you're off your back foot. You can't just. He knows. He knows better than that. You know what I mean? He's he's a guy who gets down to decision making, which is critical to quarterback. So he knows. I mean, that was kind of it. He knows better than that. I mean, I'm not a young guy. I'm not going to sit there and yell and scream at him. You know, maybe I did. I don't know. But he he just. You know. I mean, he knows he can't do that and make that throw that he made there with the second one. The first one, he was a little high. You know, that's just disappointing. Should have been a touchdown. Uh, but the second one, he, he knows you can't, you can't make that decision. Just throw it away and play the next one. You got to the sideline several times in the first half in the passing attack. Was that a scheme thing or a personnel thing? What's that? Where did we get? To the sideline, got to the perimeter. And like the screens or throwing it out? Screens and then the out route. Yeah, Was that well, a personnel thing or a scheme thing? No, just what they give us. You know, I mean, it, every every week people are going to play it differently. You know, and, and so when you call it, when you call a pass play or run pass option, I mean, run pass option. There's three different things that can happen, and if they do one of those three things is going to dictate where the ball goes. In the pass game, I mean, you have reads that are going to put you at any point across the field, depending on what coverages and looks they're giving you. Uh, so um, it, it's more defense uh, oriented than offense oriented. All right, good deal. We got.